it's January 13th, 2022. Um, I'm in a light source that looks like that outside. At least that's how the film picks it up. For me, when I look out the window, my eyes, uh, like blue glass. Um, they're not all blue, but there's a white cloud that separates the hind and the foresight of gaseous whatever in the ocular region um, that is able to pick up on a distinction in contrast and color value so I can actually discern solid or more visibly solid objects between the high amount of UV radiation coming in and what's in the soluble visual spectrum or solid visual spectrum um, of vision. <clears throat> Anyhow, um, I have no other method of colonial or colonist conversation with the humans that hold me here captive. I know somewhere in some subset or substrate of Augur, um, there's a, an Aja, a field of study of, um, and I don't know if it's at a respectable clinician level, um, but again, that goes back to a man in Belgium that I don't have a picture of. So I cannot comment on whether I would have hired him originally for the clinician's study of mass formation. Because visual inspection on something this maddening is incredibly important. When the price tag is whether your species will be able to not only practice medicine to save one another in some future possibility, but it's also the ability to have the privilege of being able to receive medical advancements or allowance and the governance thereof. Um, those are the things that keep me up and concerned and frightened. That is the fear. Um, now, in this apparition, since I am a visual inspected reemergence of a genetic through some cloning process that's not up for human inspection um, or dialogue at the moment, um, trying to stay very analog, um, the human teleportation machine that the humans in the local area under their method of their madness that they call tell a vision or TV, I think in something called a, that's in the US, in the UK, I've heard it referenced as the telly. Only discernible sound difference I've ever heard the humans acknowledge. Um, so this morning there's some show the humans use to communicate through on some panel of variety in their genetic appearance and they had this concept of mom rage m o m r a g e the only commonality for me with those two words is i really i don't have one um the veil between where I was 
in cosmic stability and where I am currently in cosmic instability, that veil was pierced and broken and somehow I was forced through a conduit, a genetic, I mean I call it a Copenhagen, Scandinavian genome copy machine which currently has a label of Linda. And I was forced into this acclimate and climate and time differential and like a twilight zone way of explaining the unexplainable. Because my visual genetic uh, interpretation was found throughout a different section of the world in marble picture a sta uh, statue that was made in an artwork collection of importance. It's woven through some historical, monumental places that I've never been, that I would love to have visited and learned about through the human study of culture and arts, but not what they have allowed for my whatever. Um, so, coming through the conduit named Linda, um, my appearance, again, I had, I've spoken briefly on the captive audience I was as a youth, but, um, waiting for the one who promised that I belong to him to come back from his one family member myself and I'm still in waiting um, for permanent whatever um, and in the time that I've been forced to spend amongst this subset of humans, or this catalog of humans of variable identity, and I don't know how they got here, or who they are, or where they came from, or whatever they brought into this, I have no idea. Totally disengaged. Quantumly, by quantum length, and by quark, and regulations, and other things. Um, so, by star matters. Um, so, their mom rage is, I have a story with another that I'm, I mean, we call it eternal flame. That every time we apparate together, or are called into whatever, he and I are to be held together, because we are one, but in two, as one. So I did not agree to be held separate from he. This seems like, for me, a clinical nightmare of something they call scientific method with a control, and I'd be the controlled substance, which is a problem, because I did not agree to it, um, and this is not biomedically, ethically, a good idea, ever. Um, but there is formula that would lead to same conclusion before dragging me through this direction. So that's really where my mom rage is from, uh, pr to protect. I had in this storyline and way of what was thrown at me in casualties um, in informalities and in least essential important circumstances um, in order to correct their not important to me. 1975 and 1976, they are the two most least important pieces of the story except to calibrate a perfect nautical correction without further delay or harm. Um, to where the break in quirk is. Um, and that's at CERN concerned level. Uh, but mom rage is I 
was gifted <laughs> for really incredible Copenhagen Scandinavian genetic copies of something the first two times around, although the personality and bundling seems to be correct and appropriate, especially on the first one and the way that he's grown into his skin. Um, but um, by the third one, there was a complete separation from what the humans thought was visually happening and where Copenhagen Scandinavian copying machine in a genome actually needed cosmically and astrologically an alignment of possible mRNA carry forward for a whole other purpose at like UFO level of unexplainable. Um, so that happened. So mom rage is really, I have two dead issues to myself being anything that happened between 1976 is genetic apparition or application and the 1975 application, both of which I never wanted. They're like toilet paper on the bottom of the shoe that you walk in and you're like, oh my god, how do I get it off without an assistant? Um, right, so that happened. So the mom rage really comes into my children if, when I was a single mother without 1976 in the house, or even with him in the house. Sometimes the children would come up at the most inopportune times where you're in a human-like moment or in an out-of-body placement of alignment cosmically. You know the storyline is wrong as the mom. You don't want to tell the children that they were whatever of an inappropriate moment that was forced upon their mom and that she did not want by any stretch of any imagination. Um, so that is that fact is kept quiet. They are the most important things in the house at all times, and there was three of them at the same interval um, of orchestra um, of my love. Only things that I loved in this disgusting world. Um, so there was withholding information from the children about their how they got here kind of a thing, um, to keep their dignity intact, um, but there was an in-house private privy, but there was also, um, times where I would be in the middle of something because I'd be disconnected or I... I was in a wiffle ball moment, like, I said to a unicyclist yesterday I found on the street, uh, but he was on foot yesterday, I said to him, I said, you know, books are good because it takes you into the mind of something else, and it's sometimes something that you crave in learning. I was like, and I think of books like <clears throat> a solid baseball. I'm like, I really want to hit a home run. I really want to connect with it. But sometimes when I open the book and I start to read, <coughs> I'm left with a wiffle ball. Um, a wiffle ball has holes in it, so the ball is not properly formed. Um, and it becomes very different, difficult. Um, sometimes you have to reread certain passages, and then sometimes I could reread them a few times and then have to sit back and go, now why am I unable to connect with this passage? And then I have to think, maybe it's because visually it's part of the break in the foresight, hindsight, and then the in-action motion of the picture for which I've been trapped um, within scientific method with a controlled substance. Um, so then there's the um, thing of the children will catch me in that moment of I'm really mad at something whether it be myself whether it be I can't pay the mortgage that month whether it be like oh my god I have to ask my parents for money or oh my gosh I have to now try to I'm coming down to the home stretch I have to 
increase my spending on a babysitter just so I have more hours in the field to try to get more listings, to try to get a future closing, to try to make sure that I have enough money, and then all of a sudden like something slides like child support payment. Of Now, I only got $700 a month to start and no alimony from 1976, so I don't want to hear any of these disgusting humans about what they they think because they have no clue. And I don't like living in this degenerate gambling, like, can I make it another month with the children? Because the alternative was they go to the rapist, and that was not going to happen. So now I had three children that sometimes the adult world would piss me off, where I would be... Not cursing, because I don't curse in front of the children, ever, until Tia Frio, 1975, came along. That's a whole nother story um, of garbage and sewage coming out of every orifice. But um, I, when it was just me and the children, and either Diana was with us, or Anna was with us, or Liz Thompson was with us, but they were not uh, live-in, they just came for the day and helped me out. Um, when I was in that home stretch with just the children, I would get angry. And sometimes they, in an inopportune moment, would seek out my attention. And I would say to them, I am angry. Not at you, but the way that you're finding me, I am angry at something, a mom thing. I was like, so I'm going to listen, and I'm going to try to help you, but if I lose my temper or I'm short for a moment, please know I love you more than anything and it's not you, it's me that's angry and I'm just trying to snap out of it and they would look at me because they would have no clue what I was talking about but their little machines are always recording and I wanted to distinguish the difference between my anger for the rest of the world and being forced into this disgusting situation and my love for them, which is two totally separate issues. So that's where mom rage is. I'm not angry at my children, for I don't feel they dragged me into this dissection. I do feel that there was a major break in the machine before I arrived. I confirmed it by my arrival and the violent nature of my being pushed into this world and formula, however astrological and cosmological works in a moving apparition and piercing a veil between the safety unit and the in unstable or instability unit. But here we are. It is Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Caterusa. And it is Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. So when you speak of mom rage, the first and only thing that comes to mind is as a mother, I am incredibly angry at my current cinematic appearance of how I was dressed and looked and ne and then there's neglect and whatever by the human species and some others that were supposed to protect the reemergence of certain whatever if we get pulled through the veil incorrectly in the formula. We are supposed to be treated completely different than whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever. But it has become a real problem with being able to get the humans to perform the way I need in allowance and how they've actually acted and then to turn upon oneself in this whatever scientific method with a controlled substance perhaps for them to turn on the controlled substance and then make some other storyline, some other excuse, some other way to explain to themselves their own crooked ways. It is very difficult to keep one's safety, sanity, and 
and dignity all intact when you have three, which was enough of a burden, but a whatever that was placed upon you, and then to have another tale grow with some other disgusting version of humanity, which is 1975. The first one was enough of a disgusting disgrace. I did not need a second tale to be formulated and to be sewed on or in to this disgusting whatever. But here we are, and then a fourth child comes. And then it's the raising of a single child as opposed to the raising of three in an interval that is like a melodic... I mean, they are just so amazing. I am so in love with them. Um, but this is the sickness and the madness of humanity for which I have been trying not to quantumly entangle too deeply in I know that the quirk is off. I know this is a quirky situation. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken.